Hi, today we wanted to talk about the word problem mnemonics intervention. This intervention is, des is designed to provide students a framework to solve mathematic word problem through a step-by-step -step procedure. The use of mnemonics helps students remember the steps to solving a word problem because the first letter of each step can be combined as a word that is easy to remember. In order to implement this intervention, there are four main components to it. Number one, duration. Every student may learn, practice, and master the mnemonics at a different pace. Teachers should provide explicit instruction with practice for students prior to using it independently. Number two, teacher training. Depending on the student's grade level, teachers should create or use an existing mnemonic that helps students to solve word problems. And that should be utilized throughout the year. Some examples include ride, star, solve, run, and draw. And number three, instructional practices. This intervention can be utilized with a whole class, small group, or individual students. To help students be familiar with the mnemonic, teachers should demonstrate the use of the mnemonic on different types of word problems and allow for guided and independent practice with teacher feedback. Four, monitoring system. During learning process, Teachers should ask students to recall and apply the steps of the mnemonics. So let's look at this question. Um, today is a sunny day and three birds are singing outside. Johnny finds three apples. Alicia gives him five more. How many apples does he have in all? Second step we should identify relevant information. First, we want to look at what this question is asking. It's asking how many apples does Johnny has? So the first two sentence that talks about the weather and the birds are irrelevant. Let's cross it out. Now, after we identify irrelevant information, Let's look at this um, remaining sentences to see how relevant it is. So in the question, we're looking at how many apples does Johnny has? So Johnny finds three apples. This is relevant. And Alicia gives him five more. Is this relevant? Yes, because Alicia gives him five more apples. So let's put a take here. So the third step is to determine the operation and the unit for the answer. First, let's talk about the operation. We see here, he finds, so Johnny already has three, but Alicia gives him five more. So it's adding five more. Let's put a sign here to remind ourselves it's addition. Also the question asks, in all, meaning in total, how many Johnny will have in total? So it's also an addition. Okay, after identifying the operation, let's identify the unit as well. So in this question, we're looking for how many apples. So apples should be the unit for this question. Okay. For the last step, we need to enter the correct number and calculate, then check the answer. First of all, we can see that in total, there are two relevant numbers. First is three, the second is five. Let's put it into an equation. So three plus five equals eight apples. Now, let's check the answer. 
So we see two numbers in the question. We check three and five. And the equation, we do have both numbers. So check. 